Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's learn how to find the square root of a perfect square in an easier and faster way. Now you must be thinking what is a perfect square, right? So perfect square is the square of any number. For example, 1 square. So 1 into 1 gives you 1. So 1 is a perfect square. 2 square is 2 into 2 which gives you 4. So 4 is a perfect square. You can take any number for example 7. So 7 square is 7 into 7 which gives you 49. So 49 is a perfect square. So you can see that I have written few perfect squares here. Okay so in today's video we will be learning how to find the square root of a perfect square. Alright so right now if I ask you what is the square root of let's say 49. What is the square root of 49? So it will be 7, right? Square root of let's say 36, it will be 6. Square root of 16, it will be 4. So these are very simple and you know, small numbers. So you can easily tell the square root mentally. But if I ask you to find the square root of let's say uh, 4, 7, 6, 1, then how will you calculate this? Generally we follow a long division method where you write the number here and then you have a different way of solving it, right? And this method is quite long and time consuming. But today I will be sharing you an easier and faster way of finding the square root of any perfect square. Before I begin with the shortcut trick, let's observe few important things. So here if you notice, I have written the unit digit of all these perfect squares, right? Now here if you observe carefully, you will see that 1 is coming twice, 4 is coming twice, then 9 is coming twice and 6 is coming twice, right? So here if you see 1 square ends with 1, right? And the complement of 1 is what? We have done complement before, right? Complement of 1 is 9. So even the 9 square ends with 1. Right? So this is the link you can see here for every number. For example, 2 square. 2 square ends with 4. And the complement of 2 is what? 8. Even 8 square ends with 4. Right? Similarly, 3 square ends with 9. And complement of 3 is 7. So even 7 square ends with 9. Right? Now 4 square ends with 6. Even 6 square ends with 6. Right? So this is the pattern which you have to... Uh, observe here and you have to keep in mind because this will help you in learning the trick faster. So let's do some questions now. Now let's find the square root of 324. So first step is you have to separate the last two digits. Okay and then you have to observe what you have in the unit digit. You have four in the unit digit right. So now check here you know whose square ends with 4. So we can see that 2 square ends with 4 and 2's complement 8. 8 square ends with 4. Okay so the answer of square root of 324 will end with either 2 or 8. Okay. Now, now check this. Now check this half. So here you have 3. Now check 3 comes between which number here. So 3 comes between 1 and 4, right? 3 comes between 1 and 4. So we take the smaller number. So smaller number is 1. So your answer would be 12 or 18. Okay, so the final answer could be 12 or 18. Now how to decide? So here, whatever you write here, that you have to multiply with the next number. So you get 2, right? Now you have to check this number, whether this number is bigger than this or smaller than this. So right now this number is bigger than this, so the bigger number is the answer. If this number is smaller than this number, then the smaller number will be the answer. So right now the answer is 18. So 18 square gives you 324 or you can say square root of 324 is equal to 18. So I hope it is clear to everyone. Let's take one more example. Now how 
have to find the square root of 576. So again the process is same. You have to separate the last two digits. And then you have to observe what you have in the unit place. So you have 6 in the unit place. We know that the square of 4 ends with 6, right? And the complement of 4 is 6, right? So even the 6 square ends with 6. So the, uh, the unit digit of the answer could be either 4 or it could be 6, right? Now you have to observe this part. Here you have 5. So 5 comes between which number here? So we can see that 5 comes here, right? So 5 comes between the square of 2 and the square of 3. So we take the smaller number. So your answer could be 24 or 26. Now, whatever you write here, that you have to multiply with the next digit. So 2 3s are 6. Now this number is smaller than this number, right? It means the smaller number is your answer. So square root of 576 is 24. Now let's take one four digit number. Now square root of 4761. So again the process is same. You have to separate the last two digits. Now here one is in the unit digit, right? So you have to check whose squares ends with one. So we can see that one square ends with one and one's complement is nine. So nine square ends with one. So your answer will end with either one or with nine. Now check 47 comes between which number here? So 47 comes between 36 and 49, right? So we take the smaller number. So you will take six. So answer will be either 61 or 69. Now, multiply the next digit. So you get 42. Now 42, you have to check whether 47 is bigger than 42 or smaller than. So here 47 is bigger. So bigger number is your answer. So 69 is your answer. So this trick is really very simple. Now let's find the square root of 1296. So again, separate the last two digits. So here the unit digit is 6, right? So we know that square of 4 ends with 6 and the complement of 4 is 6. So square of 6 ends with 6. So your answer will end with either 4 or with 6. Now check 12 comes between which number? So here 12 comes between 9 and 16, right? So we take the smaller number. So your answer will be 34 or 36. Now 3 multiply 4 gives you 12. Now 12 is equal to 12. Here the number are same, right? So in that case also we take the larger number. So your answer is 36. Now let's take one last question which is 5 digit number. So again the process is same. You have to separate the last two digits. And here you can see that the last digit is 4. So here... The two here two square is four and eight square ends with four. So your answer will end with either two or eight. Now you have to check one forty eight comes between which two numbers, right? So we know that twelve square is one forty four and thirteen square is one sixty nine. So one forty eight comes between these two numbers, right? So we take the smaller number. So here you will take. You will write down 12 and here also 12. Now out of these two, any one will be your answer. So let's check 12 multiply 13. So 12 multiply 13 will give you 3 2 are 6, 5, 1, 156, right? Now 148 is smaller than 156. It means 122 is your final answer. So 122 is the square root of 14,884. I hope you like this trick. This trick is really simple and very fast. So these are few practice questions. So practice them and master this trick. So that's it for today. See you very soon with few more interesting tricks. Until then, goodbye. Take care.